Okay, so now to something completely different. Um, a Pythonic approach, approach to continuous delivery. Who here works in a Python environment somehow? Okay, some of you, so maybe you already know everything what I'm telling you. So just a brief interview. This is a delivery pipeline. Uh, it's more or less a jump and run game, so the hero does not end, uh, should not end up uh, on the princess uh, if he's, if, if he's uh, a malicious uh, hero. So we need to design the game. So now we have everything there. The developers did a great job, and they have this uh, really great uh, application written. So we have the code. Now what do we do? What do, we do? Okay, I have more time than I thought. Okay, so the first thing is we need a proper deployment artifact. So um, we use the native uh, Python packaging, so the pip uh, setup tools stuff. There could be also Debian packages or fancy Docker stuff, but we stick to the Python packaging. So uh, it should be uniquely versioned, uh, we should, uh, and it should manage the dependencies somehow. We created a small tool for this, it's called PyScaffold, it builds just a empty Python package for you, so everything is in there, it's uniquely versioned, you, it uh, has the dependencies right. So uh, then, I think that's obvious, we need somehow continuous integration, so we use just Jenkins for this, but you can use, of course, whatever you want. So just normal Python setup test, and it runs all your tests. Yeah, I think everyone knows this. So after all tests passed, there's a step uh, where we build our package, and um, yeah, this should be really a fixed package now. So it's really a binary package in the end, with which has a unique version. So each commit in the end has such a bi binary unique version. Then we uh, uh, push it to the artifact repository. Yes, you need something like this. So it might be also a Debian um, repository or things like this. We use DevPy for this, and this is really the official logo for this uh, tool. Um, so that was the fun part, so doing all the continuous integration stuff, so that's where the developers um, live. Now comes paint tiers and configuration, and really that's my personal feeling. There's an alarming lack of interest and knowledge gaps in the Python universe, so all the tutorials just stop at, uh, just uh, uh, set up a uh, debug uh, web server and that's enough. So. Um, of course, then uh, for, for real uh, acceptance testing, we need a running system. This we need to uh, be built automatically. We use Ansible for this. Maybe here the uh, only interesting thing is uh, that we use virtual ENVs um, for the isolation of the dependency though, so that we can have multiple. Um, of course, Docker will do the same stuff here, but we use just the native stuff. So then the last step, don't panic. Uh, now it goes to production, but of course you want to have maybe some more functional, non-functional tests like performance security, uh, and maybe even some uh, manual approval. For example, in the Django package, there's these feature flags where you can put on and off these features. So what could be, uh, possibly go wrong? That's uh, really an example from the official PIP docs. As of now, PIP does not have true dependency resolution. Okay, so that's how it is. It really, uh, yeah, there's maybe not enough uh, interest in this. So um, my tips and tricks, stay Pythonic, it's the Python world, keep it simple, stupid. Um, that's also why we use Ansible, it's really keep that uh, thing st uh, simple, stupid. Um, okay, so uh, the future, uh, yes, uh, so here's a, a GitHub issue from uh, 2013, it's still open. 35 comments, pip needs a dependency resolver. So that's the state of uh, the Python world. Um, yeah, Guido, the inventor, doesn't really like this topic. Um, a really big problem is we have in this uh, uh, Python world the two worlds. So there's the pip dependency stuff and the system stuff. The one maybe is done by some operation guys. The other stuff is done by the developers, and that's really not, not a good and uh, ideal way. It's still lacking really an end-to-end continuous delivery tool where we uh, really know where is uh, which artifact deployed and so on, at least to my knowledge. Then, um, but that's not specific to Python. Many, many tools uh, out there are still optimized for the sysadmin sitting in on the SSH console, like here. To uninstall, you need to pipe yes into this program. So it's for automation, it's really bad somehow. So uh, this short summary, you can do continuous delivery in the Python world. You have uh, plenty of tools, and they are all really simple. 
So Pi Scaffold for packages, DevPy for artifact repositories, Jenkins uh, for CI, then the normal tests, Ansible for deploys, and what we need to do is improve awareness on this topic. Thank you. Thank you.